this morning for Under the Bucket with the Winkler Flyers. Gavin Walt with us. Gavin, welcome here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, today, a little bit of a snowier day. Is the cold weather something that you're kind of used to? Yeah, you could say that. I found uh, it's a little bit more windy up here in, in Winkler, Manitoba. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun so far. Awesome, awesome. So uh, for those that don't know, Gavin is kind of uh, halfway from Alaska and from Minnesota. Can you talk about you kind of grew up in Alaska, then moved to Minnesota? Yeah, born and raised in a small town, Palmer, Alaska. It's about 45 minutes north of Anchorage. Uh, lived there for my first 12 years of my life, and my dad was in the Air Force, and my mom had a job up there. Um, we had family in uh, Minneapolis, so we thought uh, once my dad retired uh, from the military that, that we would move down there. And, you know, both of them have have good jobs in Minneapolis. So, yeah, that's where uh, it, it took us. Uh, so when you say small town in Alaska, is that kind of the same thing as a small town in southern Manitoba or even smaller? Even smaller. Palmer <laughs> is 6,000 people, but okay. we had Anchorage, which was 45 minutes. It's pretty similar to Winkler, actually, like with the whole setup. You got Winnipeg uh, an hour up the road, so it's uh, it's pretty similar. There we go. Sounds good. And so now that you're in Canada, we're going to kind of, uh, when we have an American in studio, we like to test them on uh, Canadian language, Canadian words, and see oh, how geez. familiar you are. We saw in the message uh, from your parents that you're, you're familiar with Took and Mitts and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we'll go a little, we'll dive a little bit deeper today. All Let's right. Go. So I'm going to give you the word. You tell me what it means. All right. So when you hear the word loony, <laughs> loony. Do you know what a loony is? Um. Is it a piece of clothing? That's uh, that's a pretty close guess. Loonies are one dollar coin. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, heard that one. That. Not getting that. Uh, what about a double double? Double double, Timmy's. Timmy's. There we go. There we go. He's got it down. Uh, do you know what a two four is? Two four. Picking um, up a two four. That's uh, something on the farm, I think. Right? Something on the farm is pretty close. Two four is like a twenty four pack of drinks. Oh, we'll call it Coke or Pepsi, something like that, okay. eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but being from Minnesota, I'm sure there's one thing or two that you can teach us about Minnesota. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I have heard is Minnesota nice. What does that mean? People there are just nice uh, in a unique way. I feel <laughs> like people here are actually like more genuinely friendly in Minnesota. They're they're a little bit more passive aggressive, so to say. And yeah, so, yeah, Minnesota nice. I like yeah. it. But now you're here uh, in Winkler, Manitoba. You're living with the Billet family, and uh, you said your family has been absolutely wonderful. Yeah, Johnny and Jossie Fraze, uh, they've been great to me so far, and they got uh, two little kids, and I, I take pride in being a role model for them, and yeah, just uh, to welcome me in with open arms and treating me as one of their own, uh, it's been really special, and definitely going to have uh, long-term and lifetime friendships with them for sure. Absolutely. That sounds awesome. It sounds like you're having a good time out here. Year one with the Winkler Flyers, and so far, it's a positive experience. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Uh, our group is really close and, you know, one of the closest teams I've ever been a part on. And the coaching staff has treated me well. And, you know, our trainers and everyone involved with the team, the community support we get, too, is is unbelievable. Um, my my billet dad, um, Johnny, he, he coaches a minor hockey team, so I try to help out and as much as I can out there and I think the the little kids appreciate that and you know it takes me back to the good old days just being out there and enjoying the game just playing it for fun and you know it it really brings back the memories too so I have a good time out there and and the little kids enjoy it as well so there we it's go been really good so that's a good way to kind of spend some of the spare time yeah yeah <laughs> for sure and when you're not doing that, you're also helping the Flyers out with their events. I know this week you were over at their pulled pork lunch, and they had you uh, on the fryer. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I was uh, I was scooping out fries with my, uh, you know, I was wearing rubber gloves, but with my hands. And yeah, so if uh, if any of you guys didn't get enough fries. Uh, that's on me. <laughs> I'll be better. Well, we went there for lunch, and I, I got to say it was very good. Nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, again, as we, as we continue, we're headed towards a weekend of games with the Winkler Flyers. Uh, what's the what's the game plan this weekend to, uh, you know, come out on top? Yeah, we play uh, in Ipawa. I think they're, they're in a similar spot to we are in the standings. So, that should be uh, a pretty good test for us. Um, you know, they beat the Blues twice last weekend. 
but uh, you know, I think we're gonna play a little bit more desperate this weekend because we've been on a, a three game skid here. So I think uh, it'll be it'll be good games this weekend. Absolutely, we hope so. We hope for the same thing. And uh, of course, there's only a couple of games left before you guys go on Christmas break. What are you kind of looking forward to when it comes to the holidays? Uh, definitely just going down there and catching up with with uh, old friends. I think you know I, I still keep in touch with you know all my buddies down there. So I think we're all gonna get together and have a good time, and also spending time with my family too. I think you know I they've. They've made it up here a couple times, but uh, yeah, just going down there, being at home, and yeah, it'll be it'll be good to recharge. Or maybe spend some time on the lake or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right now it's not frozen though. It's been been pretty warm down mm -hmm. there. Uh, 30, 30 Fahrenheit. I don't know. If that is <laughs> no <Celsius>. idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working on on the conversions, but uh, yeah, I mean it's been pretty pretty warm down there. So, yeah. Uh, but if it is frozen, you're an ice fishing guy. Is that something you do as well? You know what? I'm really not. Oh, yeah, I... a lot, ice fishing is big. <laughs> it's big down there. I'm more of a, you know, skate around the uh, fishing house guy and bothering the, the ice fishers. That's me. I'm that guy. Oh, here we go. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I, I think from talking to the Flyers, there are, are, are one or two ice fishermen on the team, so maybe they can get you into it this year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I think I'll be pretty good uh, coming up from Alaska. Um, you know, I think I got a little bit of the, the fisherman in me, so yeah, that'll that'll be something we got to try. Well, there we go. Well, Gavin, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.